preparing to do an update video. You guys know that my hair growth goal is waistline by the end of this year. I am holding a bit of a secret from you guys that I will um, hopefully be able to share with you guys in September. But I will be um, doing a video for you guys in September. And also my flat iron video, the flat iron video. Yes, I have not flat ironed my hair since being natural. Almost four years, over four years if I include my transition. And um, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see what my hair is going to look like. So December, that's going to be coming. Um, make sure you guys share this video. Like it, thumbs up, favorite, comment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, it's Alicia and it's FAQ Friday. Woo! Alright guys, so I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, but also offering some sort of useful information. Now let me say this, these are um, some of my most frequently asked questions and when I do these videos, I'll basically be responding to your questions to me about my hair and my experience with my hair. Now, a lot of the things that I've learned have been through my own personal research, reading, watching um, YouTube videos, reading blogs, um, books, <laughs> so many different things. And I've taken a lot of that information and I've created my own routine for my hair. So really what I'm saying is that I'm not an expert um, on natural hair, but I'm an expert on my natural hair. And so I'm going to share some of the things that I do to have a successful journey and how I've been able to grow my hair and maintain my natural hair. Another thing is I want to keep it from being too technical. I kind of want to talk to you as if we were like sitting out on the porch having a conversation or maybe having a glass of wine. So one of the most popular questions I get is how did I get my hair to grow so long? Um, there are a lot of women who, you know, want to have a little more length to their hair and not even necessarily length. A lot of women just want healthier hair. When it comes to my hair growth, I attribute my growth mostly to um, a consistent regimen and also proper care. Washing my hair, keeping it clean, um, deep conditioning, hot oil treatments, making sure that my ends are not rough, keeping them nice and trimmed, uh, protective styling and low manipulation hairstyling. So when it comes to those things, you really want to make sure, I'm not saying that you have to live off of a schedule, um, but at least have a basic format of when you do these things. That doesn't mean that at 5 o'clock you have to go wash your hair on Sunday, um, but at least you have a basic format of what's going to happen with your hair. You want to do everything that's needed, but at least have a basic format. I don't always stick to my normal routine. It depends on my schedule. It depends on my hair, how's my hair styled do I need to do it all those different elements if you want to know more about my hair regimen when it comes to washing cleaning protective styling I'm gonna put a playlist here um, actually I'm gonna put my 2011 end of year regimen update video here and I pretty much go through everything now I also believe that I know this is a huge conversation in the natural hair community I personally um, it took me a while I wanted to do my own studying and things but I do personally believe that genetics does play a role in um, maybe the speed that your hair grows and even um, the way you're able to retain length. My daughter has long hair but she's always had long hair and her hair is completely different from mine by the way. I think that does have a lot to do with um, the way that I care for her hair but I also noticed that um, her hair is a lot stronger than my hair. I also get the question if anyone in my family has long hair or has my hair always been this long and um, my hair has never been this long and I don't have anyone in my family who has hair as long as mine that I'm close to like aunties and things like that or cousins. I don't have anybody with my hair length or, or know anyone with my hair length but that doesn't mean that they don't have the potential to grow their hair to their length with the proper care. Um, I want to go over like my biggest breakthroughs in my journey because there was a point um, of my journey that 
honey i was just at a total loss and my hair was not doing much of anything i talk about that a lot because i almost actually relaxed my hair after the first year basically i had to realize that um my natural hair is nothing like my relaxed hair so with that knowledge like i had to completely clean my brain um methods that i was using the way that i would um detangle my hair the way that i would expect it to lay down uh, the lack of cleaning and moisturizing that i did with my relaxed hair so once i was able to get over that <laughs> my first year my hair grew you know okay i was doing nothing but wash and goes my second year i started learning a lot more about natural hair twist outs braid outs and i was really excited so i started doing a lot of experimenting and just really wanted to do every style that i saw on youtube after my second year and i got into my third year that's when i started seeing um the length retention and that's when i noticed the biggest difference in my hair i know some of you guys get really frustrated in your first year so to let you guys know i didn't really figure this thing out until like my third year and again i want to say that if um and i don't even know if i said this in this video or some of my other hundred of videos but if you don't love your hair if you're not cool with it then nobody else is going to be and you're going to start contemplating whether you should relax or not and you're going to end up doing that and you'll end up having regrets you'll do it before you even realize um where your hair could have been it's definitely not i wish i could say that it's always easy i'm not going to say it's the hardest thing in the world because it's not it wasn't always easy for me and like i said i almost relaxed my hair after the first year but once you get the hang of it and you're patient with it and you learn to love it then it does become easier all right so now if i was on an ocean no <laughs> so the biggest thing that i want to say that i just can't live without when it comes to my hair like i could not go without doing this is my deep conditioning and hot oil treatments i always get compliments about the shine in my hair and i give all the props to my extra virgin olive oil my um, deep conditioning my hot oil treatments i don't know where my hair would be without it um so if you can really fit that into your routine somehow definitely even if it's just once a month i do them weekly when my hair is loose but if you can do that once a month oh your hair will love you so much for it i really really promise really quick hair vitamins i have been getting a lot of questions about hair growth vitamins and honestly i've never this didn't start to this year i'm totally not against it but i do not use any hair growth vitamins supplements I think it is very important what's going on in the inside of your body and if you feel like you need to add um, supplements to um, your body then definitely do so I personally don't do that I do take a vitamin but I take a regular women's multivitamin and that's something that somebody should do whether you're growing hair or not also drinking plenty of water things like that blah blah the things that you hear all the time and you're like girl my hair still not growing I'm about to get these vitamins believe me I understand I completely understand now that I've blah 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 this whole video and hopefully you guys have gathered some good information from this so here are my final thoughts the truth is is that everybody is not going to grow their hair down to their knees so i can't promise if you do certain things with your hair that girl you're going to have hair flowing all the way down to your ankles it's going to take longer for you to reach um certain lengths longer than it takes other people i've seen people grow their hair from here to the, to their butt in a year most people you know are not able to do that there are just so many things that play into hair growth so many different factors it's okay to be inspired by others but understand that a lot of the information that you're getting from a lot of us it's definitely great information but understand that it's not going to always work out it can be you know when you're sitting and you're watching all of the youtubers and their success with their hair it can be discouraging because you feel like um sometimes that because your hair isn't doing the same exact thing theirs is that you're doing something wrong and you end up switching up something that may be working for you it just may be a, a little different um of an experience and the truth is is that i've watched a lot of youtubers for years way longer than before i started making videos and 
my regimen was created off of a lot of the women from YouTube and from blogs but I only took information that I needed and that I felt like worked for my hair and I created my own regimen and just remember if um, don't be alarmed when something doesn't work for you there's so much information out there there's so many tips um if it doesn't work for you you can try something else and eventually you'll find what your hair likes and what your hair responds to you can't you really have to go into it with the right expectations and also just a little bit of patience and i promise you you will survive this whole natural thing. <laughs> thank you guys so much and i hope um listen there's so much information out there um so i'm hoping that you guys were able to take a, a even a small amount from this video that helped you guys and or at least inspire you to continue on and not give up on your hair all right guys thank you again love you Mwah. i am beautiful I am beautiful. I'm beautiful. I am beautiful.